This is the SKF vibration analyzer, commonly used by nuclear operators to take vi vibration data on pumps and motors during the performance of STPs. The first thing we need to do is familiarize ourselves with the buttons that will be used during the performance of our STP. These are our yellow enter buttons, our white soft key buttons, our yellow arrow buttons, our red on off button, and our battery check button. Make sure the transducer with the alpha prefix is plugged into channel 1 of our meter. Power up the meter by pressing momentarily the power on button. To check our battery before we go out, making sure that it's completely full before the performance of our STP, push the battery check button. You will see icons in the display. The icon we wish to select is the route icon. You will see it is highlighted here in blue. If for some reason it wasn't highlighted in blue, we can do that by using our arrow buttons. With the route icon highlighted, press the yellow enter key. Hierarchy will appear and be highlighted. Press the right arrow key. Press the right arrow key again and you'll see a serial number and sensitivity that should be identical to that that is on our transducer. If it is not the same, return the unit, get another one, and use it on the test. If it is the same, go ahead and use this one. Again, push the right arrow button. You'll see the different types of tests we do, routine or comprehensive. Again, using the arrow buttons, highlight the one that you're doing and select it by pushing the enter button. Now as you can see we have unit 1, unit 2, and unit 0. For this test we'll be using unit 1. If we were to use unit 2 again using the arrow buttons, we can highlight and then select. We're doing unit 1. Press the right arrow key. Now you'll see a list of the pump tests that are common to unit 1. Select the pump tests we're going to be performing by highlighting it with the arrows. Once it is highlighted, depress the right arrow button. Now you'll see the points in which we'll be doing vibration data on. These are listed in exactly the same way as you see it in the table in the STP. If you prefer to go out of order, which is procedurally acceptable, we can use the arrow buttons to select our points. From a human performance standpoint, it would be best to do them in the order that is presented on the analyzer and in the procedure, which is what you see here. Once you have your transducer on the point that is highlighted, press the Enter key. At first you'll see it auto-ranging, and then it will be collecting data. Once it is done collecting data, you will see a done icon appear in the window. This here is the data that you'll be entering on the STP. This is the over, overall vibration data. If the information you deem good, hit the enter button again. This puts a checkpoint in the, in the data point you just collected information on and highlights the next one in order. Again. Once you have the transducer on the correct blue dot, press the enter button. Again, it will auto range and collect data. Once it is finished, the done icon will appear. Again, this is the information you'll be writing down in the STP. If you feel that the data is in error, you can retake the data by hitting the white soft key below retake. And the data previously taken will be overwritten with the new data. Again, push the yellow enter button. Continue doing this till all points are collected in the STP. We collect data at the last point.
and you collect it, and you press the enter button, it moves you to the next STP in order. Hit the left arrow button. That'll put you back up into our Unit 1 test. If you want to review the information you just re restored, go back to the test, hit the arrow button, and this will show you that all data points have been collected, and the STP file itself also shows a green check mark in it. Again, hit the left arrow button twice. This will get you back to our Unit 1 file. Again, we just keep backing out until we get to hierarchy. At that point, hit escape, and that returns you back to the main menu. Depower the unit, and our test is done.